everyone. My name is Kelly Collins Linz and welcome to my business tweak of the week. Something interesting happened to me the other day that brought up something about my business that I think we could all use a reminder about. So my oldest daughter just got engaged to a wonderful man. We could not be more excited. And she got engaged at the end of the summer, about two weeks before she was due to head back to her second year of law school. So we decided to take you know, those two weeks to just really like nail down a lot of things so that we would not have to worry about it for a while. And so we reached out to quite a few vendors that we had, you know, vetted on Instagram. Did you know you can plan like an entire wedding on Instagram nowadays? Like gone are the days where like I had to let my fingers do the walking or use bride magazines. Um, so we reached out to, you know, people about venue, flowers, photography, you name it. And I was stunned by how long it took for some of these people to just return my call. One wedding planner took six days just to even let me know she was available. And that was the longest, but there were other vendors that took, you know, a good 48 to 72 hours. And I'm here to tell you that's too long. There are so many great options out there nowadays, and I had already vetted them, like I said, on Instagram. I could have gone with any one of them, but the people I ended up booking were the ones that replied the same day I emailed, because if they take 48 to 72 hours to reply, you know, when I'm trying to give them business, how long will it take them to reply when they already have it? So when Marcy, the wedding planner, emailed me six days later and was like, let's do this. I was like, Marcy, we ain't doing nothing, sister. I already like met with three other people and hired someone two days ago. So this brings me to your network marketing business. Do you know how many people have come to me and said, you know, like I do have a good friend that sells this, but like she's so super busy and she takes so long to get back to me. And I just feel like you're more on top of things and I would prefer to begin my journey with you. Or, you know, my friend sells this, but I feel like she doesn't post about it all that much. And so I, I just don't feel like she would take great care of me even if I did go with her. You must treat this business like a business if you want a paycheck that reflects that. And I see a lot of people say, well, like, I just don't want to be tied to my phone. And I promise you, not one successful brick and mortar business owner has ever said, I just don't really want to be tied to my store, you know? Now, listen, do you have to be on your phone 24 seven? No. Is having regular business hours wise for your mental health and long-term sustainability? Of course. But if you don't get back to people for sure within 24 hours, preferably within half a day and ideally within an hour or two, don't be surprised if they go elsewhere and give someone else their business like I did with Marcy the wedding planner. Sorry, Marcy. Snooze, lose. Get back to people in a timely manner and watch people begin to take you seriously as a business owner. If you got value out of this video, click subscribe to hear more and follow me on Instagram at Life in the Honey Wagon.